Let's take a look at solving linear systems equations using inverses on a T82 calculator. Now let's take a look at uh, my website. This is www.mathheels.com and there's a graphing calculator link. I'll probably change that to graphing calculator slash technology eventually. If you click that, you can go in by subject. I'm going to college algebra and you see all the different topics uh, that involve a graphing calculator in college algebra. And then uh, you see different models of the calculator. I'm going through and creating these for all the different uh, calculators. So um, if I have a student come in that has an off-brand off calculator, uh, I'm usually no help. I say I, I can't help you. Because I, not because I don't want to be helpful, it's just I don't know anything about it. Well, I can point them to this site now. Okay. Uh, if you need extra help in college algebra, for example, if you go into this first link, math class information, I'll probably eventually change it to math lectures. Then you go into College Algebra. Then you can see the different um, lessons or the different lectures you can listen to. Now these are the exact same lectures I give in the classroom. Uh, same example, same explanation. Uh, just watch the YouTube video. Don't go to WebEx. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Uh, now that I've done my sales pitch, uh, let's take a look at this problem here. Wanting to solve this. So we got 5x minus y is equal to 19, and 2x plus 3y is equal to 11. Well, we're going to write down our A matrix. Now, it's the numbers off of our variable terms, um, so I'll drop the x's and y's and keep the numbers in our signs. So I got 5, negative 1, and 2, 3. And B is going to be our numbers on the right side, our constant values. We got 19 and 11. Now to do this on the calculator, our answer is going to be uh, achieved by taking the inverse of A and multiplying it times B. Assuming it's not an oddball case, this uh, this will give us the correct answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these in. So I'm going to go into my matrix. Right arrow twi twice to over to edit and press enter on A. And this is asking for me for rows and columns. So this is a 2 by 2. So I do 2 enter, 2 enter. Then I got 5 enter, negative 1 enter, 2 enter, and 3 enter. Exit out. So do second mode. Go back in my matrix. Right arrow over to edit. Down arrow to B and press enter on it. Rows by columns. B is two rows, one column. So I do two, enter, one enter. You can't can't mess that up. If you put in the wrong size, it won't look anything like what you got on your paper. So then I'll do 19, enter, 11, enter. Then I'll exit out. Okay, inverse of A. So I'm going to go to matrix menu, do enter on A, and then I'll push this X to negative 1 button. That's our inverse button. Times, and then B. So I'll go to matrix, and I'll down arrow to B. Press enter on it, and press enter again. Assuming it gives you an answer and doesn't give you a, a singular, non-singular error, I forget what it says exactly, um, but assuming it gives you an answer, our answer is 4 and 1, and this is X and this is Y. Same order that our, our um, matrix was written in. We put the X first and the Y second. So X is 4. And y is equal to 1, and you write it with uh, parentheses around it. So our answer would be 4, 1. <clears throat> now that's how to solve a system of equations um, on your calculator using uh, matrices and inverses on a T82 calculator.